And we all just want peace of mind. We will agree on that more than we'll agree on if the sky's blue or if water's wet. But we don't we don't take the time to do that. We worried about like for example, why are we even worried about if a school is 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 or is not paying athletes? I got my man D Great and my cuz Mike William in the building. What's good, cuz? What's up? What's up? Both of my cuz. That's right, that's right, both of us. You know what I'm saying? D Gray holding it down in the great state of California, South Central's finest. Hit the follow button on D Gray because he does a lot of great uh, uh, entertainment. And then my cousin Mike holding it down in the great state of Florida. What's up, cuz? But like I said, man, we 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 are focusing on too much of the nonsensical ideals of rich people. Because if you think about it, man, when you sitting around your house and your kids run outside, you ain't worried about if a black person shoots them, if a white person bring harm to them. You're worried about the evils that people do. When somebody say, man, somebody might kidnap your kid. Now, if you're sick, you might put a cull on it. But you ain't thinking about that. And that's why they put it on TV to keep, again, keep you worried about the wrong things. Just like this. The kids shouldn't get paid. How does that affect your day? If the University of Michigan hand out $10,000 each football player, baseball player, uh, a gymnastics athlete, and so forth and so on, it wouldn't affect your day at all. Guess what? It, you know what? It might affect it in a positive way because you might find yourself being entertained more because you've got people doing their thing a little harder. You know what I mean? But they got us worried about this. So I just want to know, how does this affect your day, NCAA? It doesn't. The people who are always shouting this down. I had one of the great guests. I had a great guest on my show, former NBA, uh, big time basketball player, power forward center out of the University of Maryland, goes by the name of Lynn Ambor. He doesn't think the kids should be paid, and he has every right to disagree with me. And I welcome that kind of conversation. I don't mind you uh, speaking your mind. Who cares? I'm not in the he right business. I'm in the conversation business. And this is a convers this portion of the conversation is about people like Jim Harbaugh saying the kids should be able to try to go pro and still have they how they situation to come back. You want to tell, do you really want to know one of the major reasons those kids don't have the opportunity to come back? Because now you have to hold a scholarship open for a kid that may not be able to benefit you. See how it works? The the uh, the people with the advantage don't want to give up their advantage. Oh, I can't hold a scholarship open because Mike Mike from Florida might want it. Or, 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 or DeMarcus from South Central, he might want it. I can't wait for Big Illinois to come back because you're trying to pimp these kids further. At least, even if he's not sincere, at least Jim Harbaugh had the cojones enough to say the kids should be able to come back. Yeah, he might have an, a, a secondary agenda, but don't we all? Let's be honest. Don't we all have a secondary agenda? You know, uh, 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 we do. We do. You, you, you bring your lady flowers because you want her to smile at you, and then things go far. You know what I mean? You, you, women do the same. You wear nice perfume because you want men to say something. To you. We all have an agenda. You know, you, you clean up the house so your mama lets you go outside, or she can buy you the Xbox. Or what have you. We all have an agenda. It doesn't have to be a nefarious, a uh, 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 devious agenda. It's just we all have an agenda. You get good grades in school around this time of year because Christmas right around the corner. I want uh, uh, the Xbox 50 or the iPhone 12 or whatever. We all do things in order to get what we want. But even when we clean up the house, we smelling good, we bringing flowers, we not doing that to mistreat nobody. We not doing it so, hey, you can't ever come back. But that's what rich people do, man. And you know what? It's rich people listening to my show. I know y'all listening, but hey, man, I'm judging y'all on the, on the unilateral side of the game because that's how y'all paint us into these boxes. People bust their ass and work their ass off. Y'all, we are poor, disenfranchised, and we don't know what we want. So since y'all created that narrative for us, the narrative that I'm creating for y'all is y'all don't give a damn about us. Hey, that's, that's it. I mean, hey. And I know there's some rich people out there helping, but uh, as my grandfather said one time, only if you sling a dead cat in a crowded room, the person who screamed is the person who got hit. So, rich people, if you're out there doing the fiery things, manipulating situations, 
then I'm talking to you. If you're not, if it don't apply, let it fly. That's all I'm saying. But back to what I'm saying, man. Why is it that we even have to have this conversation? This isn't a conversation. This is a hundred year old conversation. It is literally a 100 year old conversation. Things evolve. Evolution is the key to life. I, I recently read something where the, the man was saying that the greatest invention, they were talking about monotheology. Monotheology is the study of one God. According to this man, man created God to help strive for excellence. You know, it used to be the one God. So, and, and basically, he's saying that the Spirit of God touched man and made him create one God. And with that God, nobody is perfect, but you, with a God, you will strive for perfection. You will, that will force you to evolve. And with that line of thinking, this time, this time for the National Association of College Athletics, aka the NCAA, to strive for excellence and evolve with the times. No more can you take advantage without any reproach of these young people. It's time to share the pot. Look, CBS, y'all just paid, CBS just paid y'all six billion dollars. I got shot Terrence First Lady of Denise Milk and Cookies in the building. Thank y'all for joining. Thank y'all for the support. But later for cons dis distinctively pimping the situation, like I was saying, CBS just paid the NCAA six billion dollars. TNT, TBS, USA Network, they will have the NCAA tournaments on that station. They pay money too. ESPN got Big Monday coming up. They make money too. All these Fox gonna have college. They got the Fox West Coast. That's how I watch all my West Coast basketball. They have a, a, an event, a decided advantage financially over working class people. It's time to allow some of those crumbs to fall off the table, people. And, and until those crumbs are, at least y'all gonna push some of the scraps off the table. Until that, we do need to pressure people. Put the full court press on people in order to get your proverbial slice of the pie. Now, I understand it's gonna be a lot of people that agree with me, a lot of people who disagree with me, and it's okay. I'm not asking anyone to agree with me. I'm just Look, you tune in to the end of the bench podcast on uh, on Bill Fitness Network to hear my opinions. My opinion, you might say, man, A Trap has officially lost his goddamn mind, and that's cool too. But I just want you to think, man, this is this is outrageous. This is outrageous. This conversation is outrageous. Look, five years ago, the University of Alabama lost in the national championship game, and the university that season alone. That season only lost in the national championship game made $105 million. How is that benefiting all the kids? That ain't benefiting all the kids. That's benefiting the football program. LSU and Alabama just redid their uh, uh, locker rooms at the tune of $26 million each locker room. $26 million for a locker room. If it was about the kids, why y'all ain't put $26 million in the damn library? Oh, because that ain't beneficial to you. Because ain't nobody coming to see the, the librarian. See, a lot of you numbskulls out here, and I am, if, if you're offending, yeah, you too. But a lot of these numbskulls out here who've been brainwashed into believing that this is for the benefit of the kids. If it's for the benefit of the kids, and you got these people, oh man, if, if you put that type of money in a, uh, in a, uh, a ballet team, you, you can be, you can support a ballet team for 10 years with $2 million. Well, if they get a stadium full of people, a hundred, a hundred thousand people and, and millions around the world to watch ballet, then they ask to get it too. You don't question Will Smith getting all that money for the movie and some of them be bad. No disrespect to the brother Will Smith, but some of the movies be bad. Kevin Costner. I remember Kevin Costner signed a five movie, one hundred million dollar deal. I'm waiting on the first one to be good. Waterworld, bro. Get the fuck out of here, Kevin. That was a horrible movie, but ain't nobody questioning Kevin. A bunch of actors, actresses, TV show people, they all do that shit. And all those boys need a cut. 
Exactly. They do need to cut us by, by the homie Cena. My girl Cena, thank you for this participating in the show. Please, if you are compelled to challenge me on any of my ideas, put it in the chat room. I'll read it. This isn't just for the purpose of my podcast. I want to have conversation with everybody. I'm with the, I'm, as we say in Chicago, I'm with the smoke. I'm with the smoke. But what I do want you to understand is this. It's, it doesn't have to be. Look, if you, I get it, NCAA. Look, we provide books, we provide shelter and things of that nature. But nobody would work for that. Nobody would work for what you're asking people to work for. Okay, well, it's all good, but I just want you to work for room and board. That sounds like a prison life. That sounds like a prison life. That's not cool at all. So I'm just saying, man, if y'all want to say this is cool, that's A. You see it different than me. But if you really want to look at the situation in its totality, if you want to look at this from a shallow prism and say they should be happy to get the books, that's understandable. That's where you live. I get it. But if you want to look at this from a worldwide perspective and allow everybody in the world to have an opportunity to get paid, Man, try looking at it from my way. I'm not even asking the NCAA to split the pile up evenly. I'm saying fifteen, twenty thousand dollars per man, which is which is the equivalent of less than ten that ten dollars an hour. Who can't afford which one of them institutions can't afford ten dollars an hour? Y'all got free gym shoes, coach get a fifteen, twenty million dollar gym shoe contract, the coach get a a a a, a, t, a radio show, some of them get T V shows, but y'all want me to believe that they can't afford something? Really? That makes no sense whatsoever. You can afford it. You don't want to afford it because every time you afford an opportunity for someone, uh, 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 it's, I, I think that's my man Mukadeen in the building. Much love to my man Mukadeen. Thanks for the support. What's good? Remember, when you see that gift in his name, remember, folks, when you see that bill for this network, Please invite a friend, share on your Facebook or your social media, and do me also do me a favor. Go to the Bill for This Net, click on the Avi, and I even put my name up and someone say hello. When you see hello, click on my avatar and then hit the follow button. Support the show, continue the movement, uh, uh, continue to make the movement grow. Now, and you will get alerts to each and every show. Make it easier for you. Go to your app store on your phone and download the Spreaker app. Every time one of our shows is launched, Monday morning, 10 a.m., number one Chief Rocker, today, 5 p.m., Central Standard Time, your man, h B. tomorrow, me and the number one Chief Rocker, Jersey Byrne. Wednesday, I mean Thursday, Super DJ, Mooka Dean, going to get get the party started. So, uh, Tuesday afternoons, an hour before my, two hours, three hours before my show come on, you got DJ Knox rocking the box, and then he would do a return show. Friday. Hey, if you need to get through a long day, you mess with Knox, you mess with Mookie Dean. They do their shows at the end of the week, probably because you're tired. And then we got another show coming up with my man, the crown holder, DJ Knox, and my man Chiz Roundtree. Y'all know what that name Roundtree mean, man. Shout man. You don't mess with nobody with a name like Roundtree, but check them out. It's called Theory of the Culture. A lot of these people run around here making shows for mainstream, and they're not telling you the truth. They're telling you what the uh, record companies and the TV shows want you to hear. DJ Knox and Chez, they're going to tell you what you need to hear, what you've been looking for, and they and they coming on Thursdays. It's not a live show. It's a pre-recorded show, but they're going to do some live shows, too, I assume. But sometimes, see, that's, the, see, that's something else we're doing here at Bill for this network. Uh, we gonna change the way you get entertained. Understand a podcast is a on is on demand entertainment. Again, on demand entertainment. What that means is this: it is on demand entertainment. So even if you came in, I've been on air for forty six minutes now. Forty six minutes after the hour, been on the air since the top of the hour. If you missed the first forty forty one minutes of my uh, show. You can click the link when I log off and start from the beginning and, and hit everything and, and you'll get everything that you didn't get. That's the beauty in podcasts. A lot of people think podcasts and you can't catch, you can only catch it live. Hey man, I appreciate you catching it live, but that's not the only way you can catch it. 
Log on whenever you want to. It is on demand. It's like it's like having a DVR at your at your uh uh 